This is Family on YouTube. Beaton. And I'm Jenny Pappas. And we play Emily and Chloe on Family Channel's hit series, The Next Step. We're hosting Family's annual stand-up tour that's traveling to select schools all across Canada. This is the 12th year of the bullying prevention campaign. And in addition to using music and shows to get the message across, we looked into groups in the community we visited to share with us the local work they do. We got to meet some very cool people who use lots of different methods to address bullying. Each of the groups work with students to promote the messages that are most important when it comes to preventing bullying. Helping others, inspiring confidence, and being comfortable with who you are. We started off our week-long adventures at the East Coast at Winding River Consolidated in Stuyak, just outside of Halifax, Nova Scotia, a quaint little town with a whole lot of heart. Good morning, Winding River Consolidated. It's Alexandra Beaton and Jenny Pappas here from The Next Step. Are you guys ready to stand up today? Well, get down to the gym and we'll see you there. The kids showed up ready to learn and have some fun. It was so awesome to see how excited everyone was. This is my first chance to go on tour to meet the fans, and it was so amazing to see all of them while getting to promote such a great cause. We received nearly 1,600 entries from students across Canada who wanted family to visit their schools. And it was Hayden Poole's entry that put Winding River Consolidated on the map. Hayden entered with the help of his sister Jenna and his parents, and they told us how their school works together to prevent bullying. Our school does many things to stand up to bullying. On September 18th, we hold an annual anti-bullying day where everyone wears pink. Hayden's family all helped write his entry, which we thought was so cool because we know that having people who love and support you can make dealing with bullying easier. Family gets information and statistics like this by working with an organization called PrevNet, which stands for Promoting Relationships and Eliminating Violence Network. As part of the rally tour, Prevnet sent one of their bullying experts to lead a discussion with the students, and in Stuyak, it was Megan Lamb. Megan spoke about different types of bullying and how to react to them. She also reminded students about reaching out to parents, friends, and family if you are in a bullying situation. At Winding River Consolidated, the school works closely with the local RCMP detachment, and Constable Vicki Colford came out to the rally to show her support. We need to do exactly what we've said over and over today, and that is to stand up. After the rally, Jenny and I wanted to get in some sightseeing, so we traveled just outside of Halifax to the infamous Peggy's Cove. It's still used as a fishing village to this day, but Peggy's Cove and the historic lighthouse that stands on the point has become quite the mecca for photographers and artists alike. So despite the crazy ocean air that threatened to blow us away, we decided to have our own little photo shoot. There is nothing quite like a deep breath of East Coast ocean air to send you on your way. So you go is beautiful. It's so amazing. Windy. So windy. windy. And just like that, our time there was over. We really enjoyed our brief but memorable stay and the warm welcome we received from everybody at Winding River Consolidated. Considering we were there to talk about such a negative topic, we had such a positive experience, and this was an amazing way to start off our tour. Yeah.